Alright, today we're starting this project of replacing the uh, factory OEM shift bushing um, on my 06 Tacoma 6 speed um, with this ERD short throw kit. Um, the main reason I'm doing this is, as you can see, I'm in gear right now in first gear. And you can see how much play that that gear has, and it's because the bushing, the factory bushing, is a uh, plastic, and it um, degrades over time. And so I'm going to replace that with this guy, and it should give it a much crisper, shorter feel. First step, you're going to want to unthread the uh, shift knob here. Set that aside. cup holders pull those out our okay, next step is to remove the whole rear console here um, pop these four Phillips head screws out next you're gonna wedge something in here using a pocket knife pull up the carpet in the console to expose these two bolts and you're gonna go ahead and take those off and now this guy should pop out like so the back end off this front part should pop out now and then take the boot right with it Expose your shifter. Next, to get the whole boot off, remove these two rear bolts. Very, very loose. Oh, and there's a. Uh, it should be a plastic rear right here but there's not it's just like that one mine clearly fell off we'll just pop that guy up there. Now this hole should slide up like that. now we'll remove these four 12 millimeter bolts one two three and four This guy is RTV'd on there, um, so what you're going to want to do, I haven't softened this up yet, but you want to roll this guy up there so you don't damage it at all, but I'm going to try it with a block and a hammer, um, might be able to do it with just like a dead blow or something, but this is what I got right now. Sky all up, there's all greasy. Um, we gotta remove this little white plastic guy here. Um, the trick is to do it without breaking it because we will be reusing it. I'm just gonna try pulling on it with this, see if it'll pop out without shooting out. Next part, you're going to want these two little dealios, little clamshell. If you can see, the camera will focus on them. It's tapered. This is the big end. That's the little end. This shaft 
It's also tapered. Big end. It's gonna go on the big end. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna take this guy and throw a little bit of a red Loctite on it just to draw it. Because once you get this, the clamshells on, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this over everything and tighten that guy up. like that and then thread it in Oops. yeah nice and snug not turn it's not going anywhere now next we're going to peen the uh, set screw in basically i'm just using an auto punch you can use a, a punch and hammer if you want this should do the trick basically you can see i already made one of them already right up next to it you're going to want to punch that in i'll do it a few times and maybe another one on the other side that's going to do is further lock that set screw in so it can't back out. Back at the truck, you'll notice that there's a spot for a dowel pin here, a spot for a dowel pin here. This one got left behind. You need to make sure you get both dowel pins. So I'll just grab this one with a pair of pliers um, because you need them on the new um, plate. go right here and then you can see the other one it's right here so transfer both of them onto the new the new plate next you'll go back to this guy get a little bit of grease and goop ball up and then pop it back on should just snap right on <clears throat> yeah next go back to the truck take a putty knife scraper whatever and make sure you clean up all the old sealant and do the same to the uh the shifter leather as well. So it took me a little research to figure out where exactly these dowel pins go because we only have two of them. And there's a spot for them here, and there's a spot for them to go between this and the shifter. So, but it seems like the general consensus is that they go in between the shifter and this plate, and the transmission doesn't get any dowels in it. So, next we're going to go ahead and install it um, put some RTV on it um, it's gonna be a real light layered more is not better here just just a little bit to keep it sealed and then uh, use the four allen bolts and washers um, to bolt it all together Pushing up, that slides right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a dab of blue Loctite on. 
these two I believe it is 13 foot pounds yep 13 foot pounds which is four arm tight from here it's just uh, reinstalling everything in its reverse order and uh, just make sure you give it a good feel before you go and drive it. Just remember, safety first. Mm -hmm. 